Mike, how are you? I'm fine. Hey, Steve, uh, as far as Biden and the border goes, didn't the U.S. military take an oath to protect us against enemies, foreign and domestic? We're, we're, why aren't they doing anything? Well they, well, they all took an oath, Mike, and they're all violating their oath. And Alejandro Mayorkas, as we heard with Senator Kennedy here at the top, lied about it, right? Greatly appreciate your call there. I mean, they just lied. They might be. Go ahead. They might Ivy. be a little too worried. They might be a little too worried about uh, transgenderism and uh, what learning the work woke policies in America to worry about our national security. Yeah, they, they're 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 practicing pronouns, Mike. It's more important than anything else they do, apparently. Um, let's go down the line. Frank is in North Carolina. I mean, I just visited North Carolina recently. Frank, what's on your mind? Uh, good morning, Steve and Ivy. Um, I would like you to be um, truthful. Um, I want to speak about finances, where inflation is running extremely high. I'm a retired bricklayer and saved throughout my life and invested, and I'm, we're getting a 5 5.5% five return. So I guess my point is there are many, many, many people out there that are doing well even in these bad conditions. Um, so... All my nieces and nephews and everybody are doing just great. Now, nobody likes the inflation, of course. So I would like you to address that. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. Well, there are people that are doing well. But you have to look at the fact that uh, private debt is at an all-time record high. Foreclosures on vehicles. People being uh, kicked out of rental homes, mortgage foreclosures as well. All-time highs. So, yeah, there are people that do well, right? Ivy, you'd agree with that. I mean, you go to the grocery store, it's still full. You go to the to the stores out there, they're still full. But people are hurting, aren't they? They are. Well, I mean, even we just visited Orlando as well, seeing my family. And we went to the Mall of Millennia, which is like the posh place to go and all the high-end stores. And that place was packed and everyone had baggages. And I'm wondering, man, how are people affording to live like live and buy this stuff? But, you know, I think a lot of people have to uh, look at their budgets and make a make a change to their budgets and yes are some people doing good some people are but i think at the end of the day are they racking up a bunch of uh debt or what well and you talk about with visiting your grandmother she's on a fixed income people that are on fixed income get burned yeah. more that's for sure you know in oh, fact absolutely. i want to go to bite nine here i want uh dc cue up bite nine here with donald trump talking about the safety nets of social security and medicare that are being targeted now by joe biden roll that for us Unlike the Democrats who are killing Social Security and Medicare by allowing the invasion of migrants into our country, it's an absolute, like a military invasion. I will not, under any circumstances, allow either of these two precious gems to be even touched under a Trump administration. You will always have your Social Security in full as you have it now, and you will always have your Medicare. Biden cannot say that because Biden is killing them both with the invasion of migrants and while at the same time destroying our country in every other way. MAGA 2024. Donald Trump says he will protect Social Security and Medicare no matter what it takes. He's going to stand up and protect Americans that are on fixed incomes and so forth.